My name is Vinny Maas, I am the M of MVRDV, uh, architectural office and urbanistic office in, uh, mainly based in Rotterdam. So about 80 people are working in our office. Um, and we make buildings, urban plans, cities and researches. We do collaborate um, uh, recently with a think tank that we organize ourselves, uh, the Y Factory, which is based in Delft uh, mostly, um, which gives us the possibilities as well to work with the public realm, with universities, and to investigate uh, even the most innovative parts of the architecture practice. For me, architecture is my life and, um, and my passion, or one of my major passions. And it's, a bit, it's about space and, uh, and, and ultimately it's about our planet. Uh, what can we do with it? What can we add to it? And how can we change that matter? And how can we turn it into something which makes sense and has future? Architects miss a point if they don't be in the middle of the society. If they're not able to communicate how the planet should look like or how the city should look like. So every building that we're making should have a position in that process. So we, have the, we are the ones that can visualize the situation of the, of the earth, of cities, of, our, of, of environments. We are the ones that be, with that visualization can communicate it. So we have a sincere role in this uh, act um, that is maybe more and more given towards politicians, economists and planners instead of, uh, of us. Innovation is the key of, uh, of what would say, in life almost. If you are not uh, willing to innovate, then one loses, uh, say, an idea of, of futurism, or one loses even curiosity to invent and to find new things. So curiosity, curiosity is, yeah, that's the drive that's in it. I cannot guarantee, though, that we innovate every time. You do tests, you make mistakes, um, and uh, you hope that it only can be innovative, ultimately. Uh, because also I see that there, is, there are so many developers, so many people that say, we make an innovative plan, and in the end it's simply only an uh, uh, an economical or commercial formula. There are good and bad sides of your work, what you say with networking. Uh, meeting people, meeting others, hearing their opinion, I think that's the, one of the key elements again in life and in your professional life. You want to know it's the way to, 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 to talk about directions and to find other kind of commissions and uh, so that, that, I think that's very good. The, what the word networking in the last 10 years sometimes has created is this kind of negative sense that you only go to parties, that you only are there to meet people in order to get a commission out of it. And, I, and that I think I don't trust. Then I, uh, when I people see behaving like that, then I don't want to network with them. Internet is simply a daily tool and, uh, um, to communicate, to, uh, to, uh, to put your library on it, to have your uh, center of communication uh, over there. And that's, um, uh, so that's very positive in general. Although I see also some negative uh, elements, uh, when you look for instance to universities, they tend to uh, limit their research only to internet sources. And, to, and, and, and while I see that you still need maybe even more than before, uh, theoretical test zones that you cannot find on the internet itself. So it is a fantastic communication uh, device, it's a great uh, uh, library, um, 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 but it has also the limitations. My first recommendation will be just do what you want to do. I don't, I, 
I, I will never intervene in, in anyone's choice because that's so intimate and private that I um, also with my children I will not 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 comment on it. I can only say to them: Is it wise or not? Is it economically viable? Yes or not? That, that I, so I, my first reaction is yes, go for it. And uh, but within that, yes, what what can I say? Then what what trajectory should one? Uh, 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 do and yeah, everyone has his own trajectory but of course in general I would recommend go to many places as possible have st stages at many places because then you are cheap and officers take you in and with that you build up uh, basically a, a, a giant portfolio and you can also compare in the different st stages what it, what it means the stages count both for say the professional zone going to offices as going to research institutes, education. Don't go only to the Catholica, but go as well to Harvard if you can pay it, or uh, to Zurich, or, or to Barcelona, or a, a, a test different, say, observations how architecture can work in practice, and test also how architectural research can be uh, uh, engaged, and, and during your Study, you have all the time of the, of the world for that. Afterwards, you have to do it yourself, you have to gain money with it, and you have to profile yourself in a much stronger and harder way. I've never explained to anybody how to look back to a career up till now. I'm, as, why? Because I'm, I, I'm in the middle of running. In a way, and continuing and building up, and what I explain also in the lecture of tonight is basically endlessly constructing what's next, and, and uh, that drives me maybe so much that I tend to forget uh, and to look back. On the other hand, I think our work, I mean, there are not so many officers that have written so many books in a way that did in the in the whole run already so much on looking back, in a way, to position the work and to comment by positioning it, uh, the last step, and to open up the, the next step. So it is a bit contradictory, what I, what, I, what I say, because on one hand, I don't want to do look back. And secondly, I'm endlessly looking back, and, and maybe most in the most public manner, uh, by writing this sequential uh, amount of books.